The barrel connector power adapter. I've saved an entire box of them over the years, but whenever I rummage through it to replace a dead or missing adapter, I never seem to have the right one with the right connector size, correct voltage, and a high enough current rating. And even if I did, the polarity would probably be reversed. Mark Fu with Cypress Semiconductor is here to talk about how USB-C and Cypress's barrel connector replacement controller can save future generations from the same frustration. Welcome to Tech Chats, Mark. Thank you. So I want to start this off by talking about the current state of power adapters and why we need to change. Yeah, sure. I'm sure everybody has a you know box full of old power adapters that you collected over the years, maybe from your old PC, notebook, Wi-Fi router, toys, whatever it may be. So you save them in case later on that you do have to use a power adapter that you can reuse them. Yeah, but the truth of the matter is that that almost never happens. That's because they are hundreds of different types of uh, barrel connectors or proprietary connectors, and they're not mechanically different. They're also electronically different, and you end up with a big box like this accumulated over the years. So, you know, we don't think this status quo uh, is sustainable for a variety of reasons. For one, they are just tons of power adapters being sold every year. I mean, literally. According to the Global E-Waste Monitor, there are 1 million tons of power adapters being shipped every year. And that number is rising. It's rising because the average life cycle consumer electronics is shrinking. For example, before a speaker is just a speaker, now it becomes a smart speaker. And therefore, consumers are being ushered into upgrading that speaker just like how you upgrade your smartphone. So I think an effort to curb the increase of power adapters is something that we need, really need to look at. Of course, this is still probably a small percentage of the total e-waste generated in a year, but nevertheless, it's a part that we know there's a very little chance of reuse. So there has been some efforts to try to curb this uh, uh, e-waste. For example, uh, Digital Europe, a trade organization in Europe, and USBIF, which is the governing body of the USB organization specification, uh, signed a memorandum specifying USB-C charger as a common charger for mobile phones. And also, in January, the European Parliament passed a resolution with an overwhelming vote uh, calling for the mandatory introduction of common chargers for all mobile devices sold in Europe. What this resolution is saying is that European Parliament you know, appears to be losing patience on standardization and is calling for a mandate, basically making it into a law that requires all mobile devices using a common charger. By a common charger, what they really mean is a USB Type-C charger. And you mentioned USB Micro-B connectors. They were incredibly common. What's different about USB-C? Well, first of all, it's a new mechanical connector. It's slimmer than before measuring only 2.4 millimeter height. And it brings a slew of convenience features to end users. For example, the plug orientation is uh, reversible. And also, uh, with Type-C, there's no longer a, a host connector and a device connector distinction. So therefore, not only the plug orientation is reversible, and so is the cable direction. I mean, electrically, Type-C is much better than the USB Micro-B because it no longer is just USB. It's now pretty much a universal cable that could transport USB data as well as display data, for example, display port HDMI, or the very high bandwidth data used primarily in PCs like Thunderbolt. So on top of that, power. USB has always provided power from day one. In USB 2 days, that's 5 volts and 500 milliamps. In USB 3, that was upgraded to 5 volts and 900 milliamp. And then for dedicated USB charging devices, they can draw up to 1.5 amp, right? So total 7.5 watts, that's how much you can get out of a standard USB port. With USB Type-C supporting the new power delivery standard, that 7.5 watts of power is upgraded to 100 watts at 20 volts and 5 amp. So that is a huge upgrade from the 7.5 watts of the old USB. So that's point one. Point two is power 
can now flow in both directions. Old USB, host is always the power provider, device is always the power consumer. You can imagine that, for example, your laptop is down to 1% battery, but you, when you plug in a bus power hard drive, and guess what? The host still has to provide power to the hard drive, you know, regardless, you know, whether it's capable or not, because the host is always the power provider. But with USB Type-C and power delivery, that the power roles could be redefined by negotiating using the USB power delivery protocol between the host and device to establish a power provider role and power consumer role. So if you add them all up, USB-C is really the one connector that rules them all and is much better, superior than the old USB Type-B connector. And also it's probably better than any connector that I can think of, more universal than ever. Okay. And so then let's talk about your easy PD BCR and how that helps designers move from the legacy barrel connectors to this new universal, truly universal USB Type-C. Yeah, the easy PD BCR solution, as the name suggests, barrel connector replacement, and does one thing and one thing very well, that it's a USB USB-C to replace the old barrel connector. And it's very compelling for several reasons. First, it's very simple to use. It requires a very low bill of material. It requires only eight external passive components to implement a USB-C power sink. And power sink meaning it's the power consumer. This is where you put in into an electronic device for it to draw power from a USB-C power adapter. And the BCR chip supports five USB PD PDOs or the common power profiles, uh, a 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, and 20 volt, and up to 5 amp. And therefore, at the maximum rating, 20 volt to 5 amp is 100 watts. And these are the five power profiles that are very commonly found in USB C power adapters that are being sold today. And the configuration of the chip is very easy. Just by simply using the eight external resistors, and you would set the chip up to request the particular voltage and current from the power source. So everything is done on chip. There's no firmware development required, and the customer can simply put the chip on a board with a very simple hardware you know, design around it on a PCB board uh, for you to work. And as simple as it is, it's also very sophisticated because it integrates all the protection circuitry required on the Type-C port. For example, a VBUS to communication channel or CC short protection. VBUS is no longer the old USB days, 5 volts and 5 volts only, because now VBUS could be anything between 5 volts and 20 volts, and therefore the communication channel tends right next to you know, the VBUS may be subject to a brief short condition if someone doesn't unplug the cable gracefully or uh, due to wear and tear. And of course, over voltage protection is also built in and also ESD protection on all the digital pins. So to use it is pretty simple as the you know schematics here uh, suggest. And you can simply use pull up, pull down voltage divider to get the desired current and also voltage to be set up. And this chip was introduced in Better World uh, in 2019, and it was voted the best of show in the power IC category. Uh, I mean, not for its simplicity, but really for the profound impact that you will make to the world by replacing power connectors with USB-C. While this is simple enough, you also have a kit that goes with this, right? Yes. So we have a BCR kit. It's got several components on it, a USB Type-C receptacle. This is where you plug in the USB-C plug that is connected to a power adapter plug into the wall. And this is where the VBUS comes in. And right next to it uh, is the CYPD3177, the BCR controller. There's a rotary dial here, the five-setting rotary dial. This corresponds to five PDOs that the BCR chip supports, 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, and 20 volts. There's the power FET. So when the power is connected, the BCR chip would ask or negotiate the required power being set up by the rotary dial. And once the BCR chip and a power adapter establish power contract, for example, 15 volts and 2.5 amps, and the power starts flowing, and the BCR chip would turn on the power FETs 
So the power comes in, the VBUS comes in, will go out on this power terminal. And there's a header here with a whole bunch of signals on it. For example, I square C. In case a designer has a external MCU, a processor of some type, and the designer wants to use I square C to actually give commands to the BCR chip to set up the configuration. For example, the you know the PDOs and other settings. That's what the I square C is for. And there's a flip pin to indicate the plug orientation of the cable that is plugged in. So obviously for power application, the orientation really doesn't matter because there's no USB data. So if a designer wants to use the BCR chip along with a super speed data, uh, that's a five gigabit or 10 gigabit data, then the flip pin will indicate the orientation. Therefore, other chips on the board would put the super speed signals onto the right conductors within the cable to support the cable orientation. So it's a small kit, but it's quite complete. And on the back of it, these are the eight resistors to set up the voltage range and the current range. So if I'm a designer and I'm updating some existing design I have, how do I go about converting from a barrel connector to USB-C for power? Very easily with the BCR kit. And I bet you can do this in less than a few minutes by following three simple steps. First of all, knowing what power adapter you want to use. And you probably already have one. You know, if you have the latest Pixel phone or, you know, the latest notebook computers or tablet that use USB-C as a power source and that power adapter already support it. Okay, so take a power adapter that support the voltage that you want. Take the power adapter of your product, simply cut the power brick off the cable, leaving the barrel connector intact and connect the power and ground of that cable to the DC out terminal of the BCR kit. Set a rotary dial to the desirable voltage that you want. Connect your device to the kit. Plug the power adapter into a wall and to the Type-C receptacle. The BCR chip will automatically negotiate the right power with the power source. Once the contract is in place and power starts flowing to your device. And this works almost every time that we try to convert a new type of product. So we have done a lot of experiment, for example, smart speakers, power tools, electric shaver, Wi-Fi router, wireless charger. You know, there are a lot of things we have already done it and and they just work magically. And as you can imagine, if you're an engineer, you know, your boss asks you, hey, is it possible to power our device with a USB-C power adapter? And you could simply get this kit, go back to your bench, do this simple experiment. I think within five minutes, you can go back to your boss and say, yes, and here it is. I've just prototyped it. That's how simple and powerful this BCR kit is. So once this is proven, and the next step would be, okay, how are you going to do it in your next product? You could simply put in the BCR chip in the device and change the barrel connector to Type-C. That's all you have to do. This step already proven that you don't have to change any design in your product today for the Type-C to power it. Of course, you know, if there is an opportunity to optimize the power design because you're going to touch it, of course you can. But it doesn't mean that you have to. So beyond the BCR, Cypress is actually much more involved in USB-C than simply a controller chip, right? Yeah, that's correct. We have an entire power delivery solution for almost every single USB-C application. As we know that USB-C started from personal computers and migrate into smartphones and tablets, and we have solutions that cover uh, those applications and multiple generations of devices covering those applications. And we've seen a lot of usage of power, you know, especially using Type-C to power more than just smartphone and computers, and therefore we have invested heavily in the past two years into power products. So right now, we cover both the power source and a power sink. In a power source, we have PD controllers and also complete ACDC power solutions for power adapters, power banks, car chargers, even automotive. As we know that in automotive, USB-C is a very fast-growing market, and we're engaged with the tier ones and automobile manufacturers around the world in designing USB-C and power delivery into future cars. On a power sink side, and this is the BCR chip, and there will be a family or BCR solutions 
uh, that would target, you know, different uh, applications and, and different use cases as these devices convert their custom connectors or barrel connectors to USB-C. You know, Cypress is clearly the market leader in USB-C. Uh, we've started early. We've introduced the first product to market in late 2014, just months after the specification was released. And then we quickly become the supplier of choice based on our devices being, you know, compliant and certified to the PT specification and our fast upgrade along with the generations of PT specifications. And as a snowball rolling, that more and more customers come to us and our products are more and more refined and market proven and therefore, you know, becomes pretty much a de facto standard in a lot of markets. So currently, we have uh, over 1,100 USB-C design wins in production in many categories. You know, PCs and PC peripherals and smartphones are the biggest categories. And of course, there are different cables and dongles where our solutions go into. And power is the next growth market that we see uh, in power adapters, car chargers, power banks, wireless charger, etc. I think especially wireless chargers, and people, you know, always ask us, is USB-C power delivery competing with the wireless charging? Well, the answer is no, right? Because the wireless charging is between the smartphone and the wireless charging pad. And the wireless charging pad still needs to be powered, right? So it's got to be a piece of wire connecting to the wireless charging pad for the wireless charger to get power. And how these wireless charging pads are powered, you know, is also through USB-C. I think to conclude, we believe that everyone wins uh, when the world converts to a universal USB-C power source. For consumers, carrying one charger wherever you go, it doesn't matter what you carry. Manufacturers can basically consolidate all of the power adapters down to a few field types. What that does is it will reduce supply chain management, reduce inventory risk, reduce costs with scale. And for Mother Earth, which is a direct beneficiary of e-waste reduction, uh, if the whole world converge to just a few types of power adapters and they're all reusable and shareable, then you will greatly reduce the 1 million tons of electronic waste from going to landfill just from power adapters. And if manufacturers can converge to the same power adapter, and they will be no longer obligated to ship the power adapter with their product. And therefore, they can reduce the package size, reduce weight, and, and ultimately reduce transportation costs, energy consumption, and all that you know, would directly benefit Mother Earth. So win, win, win. Consumer, manufacturer, Mother Earth, everybody wins when the world comes to a, a common USB-C power adapter. All right. Well, thank you, Mark, for joining us today and for what you and Cypress are doing to save money, save the planet, and save me from looking for another barrel connector power adapter. If you'd like to learn more about Cypress Semiconductor's Easy PD BCR, click the link in the description or visit mauser.com. And be sure to check back soon for the next episode of Tech Chats. Mm-hmm.